1972, we pointed out that, in theory at least, there were two futures for humanity. One is what we might loosely term sustainable development, where our use of energy and materials comes to an the growth comes to an end in some sort of a balance with the capacity of the planet. And the other was what we would call overshoot and collapse, where you ignore the limits, just full speed ahead, grow as much as you can until you can't do it anymore. We took the second path, and since 72, population, material use, energy use have all approximately doubled two or three times. When you want to form a judgment about how the planet's doing, of course, it depends on where you look and what your time perspective is. Uh, if we back off a little, I think we'd have to say it's undergoing one of its periodic die-offs. Every few million years, a lot of species disappear, and then things reorganize, and it gets started again. And we seem to be in the early stages of one of those. Uh, there isn't a single continent, maybe with the exception of Antarctica, where renewable resources are being managed sustainably and climate is changing precipitously, uh, so it's not doing very well at the moment. There's a saying which I find very useful in English, which is, if something can't go on forever, it probably won't. Our growth can't go on forever. It's going to stop one way or another. I think that we have now triggered a set of ecological, physical, tipping points so that what people do actually doesn't make any difference anymore. People care a lot about climate change. Climate change doesn't care anything about people. It just does what it's going to do. And as long as we keep increasing the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, climate's going to change. And, and we are increasing them, and it is changing. Recently, I was in Munich uh, during the Oktoberfest. And as you probably know, on the fairground, there's this octobon, this uh, roller coaster. And I thought of a metaphor. In 1972, when we wrote our first book, it was almost like people hadn't yet gotten into the octobon cart. And they could choose, do we get on or we don't get on? They got on. And now they've been pulled to the top of the first hill. And at this point, it's going to, the ride is a about to get very fast and the people in the car no longer have control over the direction or the speed. All they can do is just hold on for dear life and hope that they survive until finally things slow down again. I think that's the situation for us on this planet.